Okay, so this is a continuation of lesson 7 for the statistical interval for single sum. So, uh, another uh, method or ways of calculating confidence interval, especially for large sample. Pag sinabi niyong large sample, the number should be uh, n greater than uh, 30 or 40. But we will use the 40 value. Okay? So, if n is large, the quantity x bar minus mu over s over square root n approximately uh, approximate the standard normal distribution. So, meaning, pag, di ba, sabi natin, pag lumalaki yung number ng sample, set nyo, uh, the sampling distribution approaches the normal distribution. With this, uh, kahit hindi natin alam yung standard deviation, we can utilize the standard deviation of the sample. And, uh, dahil ito ay malaki, we can use the C-table. So, pareho lang nung uh, previous lesson natin where uh, we know the uh, variance or the standard deviation of the population. And basically, is a large sample confidence interval for mu with confidence level approximately one min uh, 100 times 1 minus alpha percent. Okay, so let's have this example. So, a sample fish was selected from Florida lakes or 53 Florida lakes and mercury concentration in the muscle tissue of the fish was measured in ppm. The mer mercury concentration is listed here. So, find an approximate 95% confidence interval. So, kailangan natin kunin yung x bar at saka yung uh, s nung ating data. Okay? So, basically, uh, you can uh, input that to your calculator or uh, use yung Excel to calculate for this one. So, from the summary table, so, ito na yun, summarize na natin. So, we get yung 53, yung mean value, at saka yung standard deviation. Ito yung very critical sa pagkuha ng interval notation or confidence in Interval. So, because n is 40, we can use this value. And ang um, alpha natin 95, so pareho pa din yung z, 1.96. And the confidence interval is uh, yung two-sided with the upper and the lower limit. So, the data. So, input nyo lang. So, the approximate value, so you follow this interval. So, don't worry. Lahat ng formula ay ibibigay sa inyo. So, kailangan lang alam nyo kung paano gamitin. So, this one is for large uh, sample na standard uh, na confidence interval. Okay? And we can conclude that uh, we can use the normal distribution for, for this one because of the large sample. So, substitute nyo lang. Ito yung mean. Ganun din dito. Negative, positive to, 1.96, 1.96. Ito ay yung standard deviation ng sample and square root ng 53. Okay? So, upon calculation, makukuha natin yung upper at saka lower limit. So, ito yung upper limit, ito yung lower limit ng interval. So, what does it means? So, ito yung interpretation. The interval is fairly wide. Because there is variability in mercury concentration. So, masyadong malaki to for uh, concentration of mercury. A large sample size would have produced a shorter interval. So, kahit na naka-40 na siya, malaki pa rin yung interval na nakuha natin. Okay, now. Okay, so, for a large sample approximate confidence interval, suppose that your theta is a parameter of a probability distribution, let theta be an estimator of theta, then a large sample approximate confidence interval for theta is given by this expression, where theta is between your estimator minus your sigma times the uh, standard deviation of your estimator times your z, and uh, the upper limit is the estimator plus the sigma times your z ng confidence interval. Okay? 
Now, let's proceed to uh, distribution where we don't know the mean, unknown mean, and we don't know also the variance. So, pag hindi natin alam ang variance at mean ng distribution, we can use the uh, this uh, t distribution estimate where t is equal to x bar minus mu over s over square root ng n, which has a t distribution with an n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So, ang gagamitin dito ay yung uh, t table, yung t distribution table. So, kung titignan nyo dun sa ating uh, so sa ating uh, table ito yung uh, t table so makikita nyo yung t value yung uh, hinahanap so ito siya ito siya na area and the percentage of points ito siya so ito yung alpha yung nasa uh, taas and this is the degrees of freedom, yung uh, value na to. Sorry, sorry. Yung value na to, yung, yung 1, 2. Yung value niya ay 1, 2, infinity. Pero usually, ang value niya, hindi naman namalagpas ng 30. Yung hinahana. So, balik tayo dun sa ating uh, PowerPoint. So, we, we can utilize this one. And we can have the confidence interval of your... Uh, population by getting the mean of the sample and getting the uh, variance and use the t-table. So, take note, ito, ginagamit to pag mababa or maliit lang yung number ng sample size. So, where t, theta over 2, n minus 1 is the upper percentage point of the t-distribution when n minus 1 degree. Of freedom. So, for one-sided confidence bounds of the mean, papalitan nyo lang yung t uh, alpha ng, uh, t alpha over 2 ng t alpha. So, pag lower bound, ito lang, alpha lang to. Pag upper bound, ito naman, yung side na to, alpha lang din. Okay, so ang kailangan ay yung alpha, or alpha over 2, at saka yung n minus 1, which is the degrees of freedom. Okay, so let's have this example. Construct a 95% confidence interval on the mean of the following data. So we have here, ilan yung sample natin? So 2, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 20, 22. 22 yung n natin. So n is 22. So kung kukunin mo yung degrees of freedom, that's 21, n minus 1. So, kailangan natin yung x bar at saka yung uh, standard deviation ng sample. Okay? So, pag kinuha nyo yung t, uh, this one, uh, pag walang binigay kung upper or lower bound, so, ang assumption lagi ay uh, double bound. So, kailangan natin kunin yung alpha over 2, then n minus 1 or yung b. Okay? So, kung babalik tayo doon sa Kaninang table. Pabalikan natin dito. Hanapin nyo lang yung 21. Ito. At uh, yung alpha natin ay uh, 95 divide, uh, minus. So, 5 siya divide by 2. So, 0 0.025. So, ito yun. 0 0.025. So, hanapin nyo yun. Yung 21 at saka yung 0 0.025. So, uh, papatak siya na Highlighter natin. Ito wala. Highlighter. 21. Tsaka ito. So, ito yung value. 2.08. So, balik na tayo dun sa PowerPoint. So, pag kinuha natin yung... Burahin ko na to. So, the mean value. Ito na yung mean. 13.71. And the standard deviation of 3.5. So, you can input that sa calculator. Yung single variable. Then, we have... Uh, ito yon So, ito yung nakuha natin kanina na t value, so 2.080. So, substitute nyo lang dun sa ating expression. We have x bar minus t ng alpha over 2 n minus 1 s times s over square root ng n. My, minus lang to, plus lang yung upper. So, pasok, pasok to, then uh, just solve it. It will be 12.14 to 15.12. 
28 yung value. So, anong interpretation? The confidence interval is fairly wide because there is a lot of variability in the measurement. Kung titignan nyo, napaka-variable, napaka-taas ng variability because the lowest value, ito nga yung lowest value, is 7.5 and the uh, uh, largest value, yung pinakamataas na value, uh, 19, yung pinakamataas na nakita ko, ito, 19.8. Diba? Ang taas yung range pa lang. Sobrang taas na. Large sample size would have led a shorter interval. Okay. So, now. Uh, yung chi-square naman, distribution, this one uh, could be utilized to estimate the variance or the standard deviation of your population. So, let x1 to xn be a random sample from a normal distribution with mean mu and a variance of sigma squared. Let s squared be the sample variance. Then the random variable, we can estimate or we can determine the chi-square value. This is chi. Chi yan na chi. Ito yung symbol. It's equal to n minus 1 s squared over sigma squared. Where the chi-square distribution with an n minus 1 degrees of Freedom. So, ano naman yung chi-square? Punta naman tayo ulit dun sa table natin. Dito ulit tayo sa table natin. Yung table na binigay ko, ang gagamitin naman ay yung chi-square table. So, ito yung chi-square table. Take note, yung alpha ay ito. Okay? And ito yung alpha value. Nakita nyo, 0.995, blah, blah, blah. Ito, ito, ito. Ayan. Ito yung alpha. And ito yung uh, yung uh, degrees of freedom. Yung n minus 1. So, ito yung chi-square value. Okay. Tayo dun sa PowerPoint ulit. Okay. So, for the confidence interval ng variance and standard deviation, you can utilize this expression. Okay. Or this uh, formula. So, this one is a uh, double bound. So, may upper at saka lower bound siya. Take note yung chi-square value. For this one, ang chi-square is 1 minus alpha over 2. So, meaning, kailangan makuha nyo yung uh, 1 minus alpha over 2. Well, this one is just the alpha over 2. So, kukunin nyo lang to where the upper and lower bound, where 100 times alpha over 2 percentage point of the chi-square distribution is the n minus 1 degrees of freedom. Pag kukunin ang confidence interval for the uh, bar, uh, standard deviation, so square root lang yan. Okay, so square root lang to, so square root mo lang din ito. So that will be for the uh, interval for the uh, confidence interval for your standard deviation. Okay? Pag uh, pag uh, upper or lower limit lang, so single bound lang siya. Pag lower bound, alpha lang to. Ito naman ay 1 minus alpha lang. Pag upper bound naman yung kukunin mo. So, ito yon, Lower bound and the uh, upper bound. So, alpha lang yan. Ito ay 1 minus alpha for the confidence in three. So, let's have this one, yung detergent filling. An automatic filling machine is used to fill bottles with liquid detergent. A random sample of 25, 20 bottles result in a sample variance fill volume of 0 0.0153. Assume that the fill volume is approximately normal. So, compute a 95% upper confidence interval. So, yung degrees of freedom mo ay uh, 19 while yung uh, alpha mo dahil ito ay uh, 0 0.05 so, ang gagamitin natin upper bound um, upper bound so, upper bound confidence interval so, yung chi-square na kukunin natin is uh, yung 1 minus 0 0.05 0 0.05 and 19. So, this is chi-square ng uh, 95, 0 0.95 and 19. 
So, balik tayo dun sa Okay, balik tayo dito sa ating uh, chi-square table. So, ang hinahanap natin ay yung 95, ito, and 19. So, 95, 19, ito yung uh, value. 95, tsaka 19, so 10.12 uh, yung chi-square value. So, this is 10.12. Okay, so, raise ka na siya. Lahat tayo dun sa uh, approximately the upper confidence interval is uh, ito yun, uh, n minus 1, 19 then the standard deviation uh, uh, variance pala ito, and ito ay yung uh, 10.12 or 10.117 na value, okay so makukuha natin yung uh, upper uh, interval is uh, less than siya ng 0 0.0287, upper confidence pa. Okay, so a confidence interval on the standard deviation of standard uh, of the standard deviation, kunin mo lang yung square root ng pareho. So, ito ay square root ng uh, 0.70. So, we'll end here for the lesson.